So you want a gun that looks great and shoots great. Well, the X5 Legion was a huge hit, and now, Phil, you've got a carry version. This is what that is, the 320 X Carry Legion. It's our newest lineup in the Legion family from the 320 world, and man, it is great. It is, like you said, heavy. It's got the TXG yep. tungsten infused grip module. Now, we did chop it down to a carry length, uh, and we also chopped the five inch slide down to a 3.9 inch carry length as well, but we didn't stop there. We actually added a threaded barrel. Threaded barrel, and what's the thread? It is not 13 and a half <laughs> by uh, left hand. The old anymore. school it SIG, is, it's, now it's a standard. It is now a standard half by 28 Very good. thread. Yeah, so Very it can good. fit cool things like this guy, the Mod yes. X9, and standard half by 28 accessories. So, we didn't stop there though, because we knew that if someone put an older suppressor on it, you know, suppressors can change your point of impact sometimes. Yep. And unless you can make adjustments to the suppressor, you're kind of stuck with it. Well, not on this gun. We actually have a fully adjustable X-Ray 3 day-night sight set up here. It's got a sight plate assembly like the X-5, so you can put an optic if you want. But if you don't, you simply take a flathead screwdriver and you can fully adjust this rear sight for windage and elevation I like it. to accommodate for that POI shift if it happens. Sighted in for the suppressor, now you're on. Now, we talked about the weight. How did you guys get the weight and why does it matter? So the tungsten is actually infused into the polymer mix mm -hmm. and it goes out to, uh, goes into basically the mold as polymer. So it melts in, comes out of the mold and boom, you've got a really heavy grip module. I think this thing weighs around 13 and a half ounces. So it's nearly a pound just for what used to be a three ounce polymer piece. And what's the total weight of the gun? The total weight of the gun is right around 40 ounces and it's it's heavy, but it's not so huge that it's not reasonably carryable. You can actually take this magwell off, it comes with it, but it's removable. So you could make it a little smaller. And the real difference is when you get it out of range and shoot it, you'll feel it. So let's get this to the range. Let's throw the suppressor on it. Make this the total package. Okay. Suppressor height sights on this gun, and we've talked about that before, but it, I, I think the adjustability in this is very cool. We talked about changing the point of impact when you throw a suppressor on. But Phil, why does it matter? I mean, because you can you can throw a suppressor on a gun that doesn't have suppressor height sights. You can. Um, the luckily, luckily with this suppressor, the Mod X9, it doesn't really uh, affect impact whatsoever, but there are suppressors that can. And to your point, if you put a suppressor on a threaded barrel and it has standard sights, you can line the sights up, but you're actually lining them up through the back of the suppressor. So you're covering up the target that you're trying to hit. So it's hard to have a lot of preciseness with your Right, brain. so, I mean, a big target, yeah, you're fine. You're gonna hit the target. But if you're trying to be precise, or if the target's at 20, 25 yards, right. now you're really having a hard time finding where am I aiming here? Right, and the nice thing about this is not only does it have uh, the suppressor height sights, but it also has fully adjustable suppressor height right. sights. You could also argue that like, depending on what you're shooting, because some people might load subsonic loads right. because they're shooting suppressed, and that could change the point of impact. There's a lot to consider when you're shooting suppressor sights and ammo. In fact, I think I have some ammo loaded up. I've got like three rounds of supersonic and three rounds of subsonic. Okay. So let's see if there's a difference in see the if sound. You can hear of it. That. Yeah, let's try it out. So three supersonic. And then three subsonic. <laughs> and yeah, that's very cool. That's, that's why we load it with subsonic. <laughs> right, right. We're trying to be quiet. We want it to be quiet. Yeah, so a lot of capability in the suppressor as long as you're utilizing it correctly. And the 320X Carry Legion is perfectly suitable for any suppressor you want to put on, whether it be a Mod X9 or anything with half by 28 threads because, you know, the barrel's got the new threads. Just screw it on. Just a great pistol, very versatile, and uh, I think it's going to be super popular in the Legion lineup. Very cool gun. Another great one from SIG.